All right, I was gonna save this for a live stream, but screw it, I'm gonna talk about it now. I'm gonna make a quick video. So have you seen this Gina Carano stuff? Have you guys seen the statement that she made after the South Park episode where so many idiots on social media think that Cartman <laughs> is supposed to be the voice of reason on South Park? A satirical show, it's, it's like these people never watched South Park before. Like they don't understand each character's responsibility within the narrative. Cartman is not the voice of reason. That's not his role on the show. I'm just going to put that out there. But <laughs> so many of these chuds seem to think it was a huge, massive win uh, because they did a satirical episode that addressed some of the stuff going on in Hollywood. And guess what? Gina Carano, Gina Carano has stuff to say. Look, the reality is that Gina isn't working in Hollywood. She's got a lot of free time. She's not working. Her efforts after losing contracts with Disney and, and, and uh, Lucasfilms, uh, so without that being there, she's worked on a bunch of stuff that kind of fizzled away and didn't go anywhere. All the fans, where are the Gina fans at? Where are the Gina Carano fans who love her so much? Where were they supporting uh, this content she was making after she was gone from Star Wars. It's almost as if you guys only love Gina when Gina is being controversial. But when she's actually out there working and trying to do something, y'all are not checking for her at all. You're not looking for her at all. You're not supporting her. You're in the, I don't know that Gina Carano exists era when she's out there actually trying to work. Uh, anyway, she's got a lot of free time. She's not working now. And so she made this statement, and it's almost like she forgot what the fuck a period is. Like, she completely threw the rules of the English language out of the window. I think there's some commas here, but it is holy fucking run-on sentence. And so many people in the conservative circles have been sharing this, thinking this is some kind of, like, great statement. I'm going to tell you right now, this sounds like, like a statement from somebody who is detached from reality. That's what this sounds like. Somebody desperately trying to hold on to relevance because unless Gina says something like this, no one talks about her. No one does. These channels, these fucking chuds, they don't talk about her unless she does something like this. Let's read this and see if we have a stroke because of it, okay? Gina Carano. This is the part where Kathleen Kennedy demands any YouTubers get censored off of YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable the thumbs down option because of the ratio she'll receive. Then she'll have her publicist ghouls make sure Variety and Hollywood Reporter run hit pieces about the South Park creators and their families smearing their names through every useful idiot she has under her thumb. J fucking period. Where is a period in this? Who'll sell their soul to work for Lucasfilm. She'll activate her online mob to repeat that South Park creators are racist, bigots, transphobes, and demand that South Park creators publicly apologize by only using words she approves of. And finally, she'll do still no period. She'll demand they subject themselves to a re-education course of 45 people in the LGBTQ community, Zoom call to sit there and listen to how badly they got their feelings hurt all over a little boop of a South Park episode. Uh, but maybe just the jig is up. She finally used a couple of periods there at the end. Uh, look, Gina, you're no longer relevant. I, I hate to tell you, like the only people who repeat and share your stuff anymore are people who are still happy that you were transphobic and anti-Semitic. Those are the only people that share and care about your shit. And they only care about you when you're doing those things. You have been used by that community. You're still being used by that community. This post is being used by that community. You are a pawn for these people. They don't care about your well-being. They don't care about the content you're making. If you look around in the space that you're in with these low-budget hack films that are being made by these fucking grift companies, this is not a career for you. You have been basically brainwashed and gaslit and used by these people that you think give a fuck about you and they don't you have to say and do stuff like this to get their attention if you went out there tomorrow and did an indie film that was the best film of your career gina the best thing you've ever done better than mandalorian better than big hollywood hollywood blockbusters whatever if you went out and did that tomorrow it would not matter 
to the majority of the people that say they support you because they do not give a fuck about you unless you do shit like this. You are performing for them like a court jester. And that is how they treat every single person that they, uh, they pretend to support. As long as you do these things, say these things that act this way for them, they will continue to share your content. But the minute you try to do something that you actually give a fuck about, they don't care. And if you're okay with that, if you're cool with that, then keep on going. You have already shown major studios and other people in the industry that not only are you extremely difficult to work with, but you are openly transphobic. You're openly against the gay community, I guess now because of this post. You're openly anti-Semitic. You have shown that that is what you are about. So congratulations, this is your reward. Your reward is being memed by the community that says they support you, and that is it. That is it. Until you start getting on videos and begging for money and creating all of these Kickstarters and fucking selling coffee or whatever it is that these fucking chuds do, until you start doing that, or trying to go back and get in with Hollywood where uh, rational people exist, because there are people out there who are conservative, they're still working in Hollywood that aren't pieces of shit. If you could go do something like that and, and prove that you actually learned something from all of this, maybe you could get a career back. Maybe you could be doing something. But here we are with these fucking stupid posts thinking that somehow any of this fucking makes any sense. Because you did this to yourself. You created this problem for yourself. This is wild. I don't have much else to add to this right now. We'll talk about it on a live stream. Maybe we'll, maybe it'll be on the initiative stream. Maybe we'll talk about it on my live stream uh, this week. I don't know. We'll get into it. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of that down below.